Hey everyone, it's Charlie. I wanted to try something different. So today I'm uploading a live sales call my friend Jake did. Uh, Jake is the owner of an SEO company called Web Strategy Viking. I'm going to link his info in the description down below. So check him out uh, if you want to connect with him. Um, so this is an inbound lead that Jake got. It's another marketing agency that actually wanted to outsource their SEO work to him. And um, you'll see that Jake does a really good job of asking questions, letting the prospect talk about what they want, and then trying to sell them. Uh, rather than just trying to pitch right away. So what good salespeople do is they wait to figure out what the prospect's pain point is, and then they sell to fix that exact problem. Uh, so let me know if you like this type of content, uh, if you like seeing other people make sales calls, and I'll try to get more of these in the future. Uh, by the way, this is gonna be a three-part series. This is a 45-minute sales call, and I couldn't upload all of it in one video, so I'm gonna split it into three parts. I'll upload the other two parts in the next couple of days, but let me know what you think. Hope you enjoy. They just, they just beat on it. Um, but we have made some uh, improvements to the content, and we've gotten a lot of good backlinks, like link building, what we have, like mm -hmm. video outreach is what we do best, cool. and it works for everyone else, but not Uncle Bud. And, I, and I've noticed that a lot of their clients uh, do a combination of white hat and gray hat and, and black hat, and... Mm -hmm. uh, and and they then they're having a lot more success. Okay. Um, so I I told the client I'm like we should try something like that, and and they agreed. They understand there are risks. Um, but yeah, so I was just looking for someone to help out and point us in the right direction, maybe do some work and mm -hmm. and get us on track uh, this okay. month. Yeah. To, to show them that we can get results. Um, and and I'll send you the. The, um, the the products that we were focusing on this month because we okay. were focused, we were probably casting too wide of the net um, and then we for the last month or so we've been focusing on just a couple product pages but it uh, but still no no results so I okay. just that to you on Reddit the, the two sure. product pages we've been focusing on okay so really just the goal is for this month to get. Um, Results for at least one page, just to just to show that we can do it. Okay. Um, and 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 again, like we're willing to go pretty black hat, um, like you know, risk the penalty. I don't want to be like reckless. Sure. Um, but I understand like the faster you want results, the more risk you have to take. Sure. Um, so yeah. That's okay. Uh, okay. So. Let me sort of repeat back what you're telling me, and then you can let me know if I'm listening right. It sounds like you were working with them. You started with them six months ago. You've done a lot of link building, a lot of manual outreach, but for some reason that's not working as well. Um, you have very specific pages you want ranked and you want to get more clicks and rankings for. Um, ideally, <clears throat> you just want to get you just want to show like, hey, Mr. Client, we moved from rank nine to rank one or whatever. You just want to show proof of concept that we changed it up and now we're doing better. And you're willing to go to, you know, you're, you're willing to try new things. It doesn't have to be risky, but you're willing to try something different. Yes, okay. preferably something that can get results quickly. Yeah. And the good news is it doesn't matter which page. Uh, I mean, preferably a, a product or yeah. category page, um, but like it doesn't have to be the pages that we okay. were focusing on. We just thought, okay. we just did human research and we're like, okay, these aren't too competitive and they still have search volume, so let's just go for that. Okay, no, that makes sense. I, I just want to make sure we're still on the same page. Um, so yeah. what, can you, can you break down like in terms of percentages, how much, you know, what type of work you did for this client? Like, was it mostly link building? Yeah, it was mostly like building, and let me pull it up um, here. I mean, we did, we, we, you know, we did some blogging. We even okay. got doctors to write with, like, doctors who have, like, a okay. presence to write posts. And, okay. and we, we cleaned up the internal linking. Okay. Um, I think we added a, we, we changed the footer. Um, we, there was a lot of duplicate content that we fixed. Um, the, you know, product names, we changed a lot of them to match okay. 
what people are searching. We changed okay. uh, product descriptions. Um, okay. We added some content to product. Uh, and we've gotten 50 backlinks, like high quality, like, you know, high okay. DA, you know, site, real sites with real traffic that are relevant. Um, to, we got them leading to various pages. And they already had like a lot of impressive links because they're a global sure. company. They're okay. not global, but they are like in Walmart and stuff. So they oh, have sure. a PR firm that's gotten them like pretty impressive links from sure. some of the biggest sites. And they're not like optimized for SEO, but still they they have good authority. And uh, I don't know, like I've never seen a client this stubborn. I mean, I know the site isn't that good. Like the U, UI isn't, okay. isn't like amazing, but it's not, I don't I feel like it's not that bad and it's not like super slow. Um, and, and yeah, they're just being outranked by like competitors with that. I just can't tell like what they're doing better. Like, yeah, yeah sure. a lot of them do have better content and some of them are like Amazon or vitamin shop and, and stuff like that. But then there are other ones that, that I just don't know. And, okay. And so, yeah, I'm just willing to try something new, like you said, and, and, uh, and yeah. Okay. No, I understand you're trying to try something new. And I'm looking at the site, and, and I agree, it's not that bad. I'm looking at GT metrics, and it's not that slow. Um, but I do notice some technical stuff. Did you did you add schemas? Did you work the robots? Did you do any of the technical SEO stuff? Um, we did do some... I, I think we did schema, and I and I thought if you're noticing something wrong with that, you know, I'd love to hear. But I thought that was fine. Robots. Okay. That text was fine. Like site map, okay. um, all that stuff. Okay. I, I didn't notice anything. Or if okay. I did, it was at the beginning, and, and then, okay. then I was under the impression we fixed it. Okay. All right. Um, okay. No, this makes sense. Um, how how soon are you willing to make a move and, and hire someone. It doesn't have to be me, but how soon are you willing to hire someone to help? Uh, I was thinking tomorrow. Okay. 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 No, I'm, I'm looking at this. This makes, like, I'm, I'm pretty confident this, you know, what I can do can help, but I just want to double check the Google Search Console. Would you be able to bring that up? I, uh, I want to see yeah. the, the, the four, main metrics do you want me to send you like a google meet yeah yes please link? yes please okay. i'll be on reddit i'll be here we can stay on the phone okay okay cool i'm just curious how do you how do you get this client Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Do you use Upwork? Yeah. I can, yeah. My, my best clients come from Upwork. <laughs> like the, the best paying clients come from Upwork because they're just ready. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely find that the ones from inbound marketing who already are sold on SEO, they know they need it. It's so yeah. much easier. Yeah. I honestly don't even like try to do outbound marketing anymore. I mean, I know, you know, there, there's some way to make it work, but it was just sure. very discouraging. To, sure. to talk to people and they're like, and they just don't get it. Sure. They're like, but why, but why do I need to be ranked number one? Um, yeah, and I get you. But they want to pay like 200 a month or something for it. No, I get you. I'll, when I have time to kind of show you what I'm doing, if you do want to do that, I'm sending text messages and I'm getting people to reply. It's like $3 to send 100 texts and I'm getting like a, a healthy amount of people to respond. Yeah. Uh, so who who are you texting? Like like local businesses? Yeah, home, home, yeah uh, home services. Um, we're we're trying to target people that run blogs, because we are outranking Tinder, on a lot of their keywords. So we're going to be kind of doing a bit of both. So I can I'm more than happy to share what I, what we're doing. I'm not sure what your niche is, but if yeah yeah yeah, I'm sure there's a lot we can. Help each other with. Uh, um, 
Do you do you do a lot of white hat SEO to your clients, or do you do, you do black hat for any of them? Um, I, I find that the ones that we just do proper on page gets to rank one. Like if you look up here, here's something we got yesterday is Tinder gold worth it. The, we got featured snippet and it took us about a, a few days. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it was a site already pretty authoritative. Um, Zerby, uh, was rank nine on it. We didn't build any links. It's the same process I think would work with, but it, it, from what you're telling me, there's like a very specific method that I don't think you guys are doing. So that's why I want to be able to confirm that with Google search console. So, okay. yeah. Yeah. Well, I sent you the. Yep. The I got it. Okay. Cool. Well, let me get in. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, just let me peek into the Google Search Console. We don't have to dive deep. Okay, yeah, they have a, a weird Google Search Console because I'll go back 12 months. Okay. They do crazy PR that gets them like, like they'll, they'll partner with Magic Johnson and then they'll do a PR um, campaign and get a bunch of clicks and sure. impressions one day and then it'll just go away. And, and sure. so it's been, so it's, it's not as easily analyzed and like sure can't analyze it. Super can you easily. can you click on the average click through rate? And just click on that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can share our screen for Zerbi and show and share share that. But the one thing I'm noticing is you you're not telling me that you're continuously working on the click through rates. It seems like you're building up rankings, but you're not following through with driving the clicks by increasing the click through rate. Um, so the method that we use is we split test different meta descriptions and we run Google ads. So if we get enough, my background is in statistics, right? That's what my degrees in. So with, with 95% confidence, if I run ads with testing five or 10 different meta descriptions for a page, and if one outperforms everyone else with the con with the confidence that, you know, statistically speaking, it's, it'll pay off. Um, we replace the meta description with that and we update the meta description. I don't know if you're, if you just set it once and you're just building links, but. Yeah, that's, yeah, to be honest, I, I never gave much yeah. thought to the meta description besides yeah. just doing it. Yeah. And, uh, so let me show you, let me, I mean, let me even look at it because I have it. So. Actually, I thought I changed it. Um, yeah, I mean, I see some. I mean, I, I this is just me going off a hunch, but you know, get it, it doesn't need to say Uncle Buds. It, it says Hamp and it's cut off, so that's not good. It doesn't need to say Uncle Buds at the beginning. Yeah, I think the keyword should be first. Yeah, um, this is, I mean, it doesn't even look like it's set. Like, yeah, it looks like this is just the default. Yeah, uh. And, that, that's, and, and that's not uncommon. I mean, that's, that's what I do. I, um, what we did with, you know, I can, I can share my, here, let me share my screen here for, for a sec. Let me get this. Oh, wait, I just realized I haven't been sharing my screen. I, I saw, I saw what I needed to see, which is, which is oh, fine. Okay. So like for Zerby, Zerby is like a pure blog and it goes into an affiliate product and they, they outranked Tinder for like a year on everything. This had 8 million page views in since 2018. Um, yeah, and let me switch over. <laughs> and 
And all I all I need to do really is see what pages have the lowest click through rate. Like we started reworking this and we can you can see like within the last like few weeks, like we just saw this little jump here. These guys used to have a click through rate of like 11%. But then they stopped focusing on the click through rate and just started pushing content and links. So they changed their strategy in February where they're like, you know what, we're just going to, instead of spending half our time doing click through rate work, let's do content. And we're like, okay, fine. We're just going to do content. Instead of staying up here with a click through rate of like 10%, 11%, they fell by half. So what we do now is we go in, we look at what pages have the, the highest um, impressions with, without, uh, with a 